How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Cesar Ramirez here and today I'm going to be talking about my Nook. Okay, I got this at Barnes and Nobles, the cover that is, and the Nook as well. Here's the Nook and what I actually did is, is root it. And when you root your Nook, you have the ability to open up the Android market. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. I got a pretty cool Android there. And what you're seeing here on the wall of my Nook is some plugins I added. But what I'm going to be talking about today is how to get files on your Nook through your network server. And I found a cool program. I'm going to click on this little icon right here. By the way, this is called, when you hit this button here, it's called Go Launcher. So you can look for this on the market. But you click on Go Launcher, and it gives you the ability to go through your apps and kind of scroll through them. So these are all apps I downloaded from the market. And the app I'm going to be talking about today is called Astro. So as you click on Astro, let's go ahead and click on there. There's actually a couple plugins you can get for Astro. One's called Bluetooth, which doesn't make sense because it doesn't have Bluetooth, but um, I just put it on there. And I also there's one called Wi-Fi. So you want to make sure you add all those from the market store. And up here at the top, you're going to see that it has a lot of icons. And uh, you can scroll through this, and there's one called Network. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. It's called Network. And you're going to see right here that there's actually, let me show you, I'm going to set this down. You can't really see it because the glare, I'm just going to try to have to angle it here. Um, right about there, the top right here, there is a Wi-Fi icon. And right next to that, there is uh, the, the server. So I actually added, so what you want to do is click on New. And right here. To add a server in your network, you got to make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi down at the bottom. This little Wi-Fi wi icon right there. Sorry, it's not very uh, clear. Let me see if I can focus it a little bit. There we go. So you can see the Wi-Fi icon right there. There you go. Okay. So as you click on Add the uh, the new network, you want to do an SMB. And what that means, it's a ability to have the Android which is essentially um, a Unix platform I want to call it because it has the ability to do a lot of uh, Unix uh, applications and then go into the SMB connection which is the Windows is how Unix talks to Windows kind of the same idea through other um, Unix applications so as we do an SMB connection you want to give it a label and whatever your label would be which can be any name that you want to show up and the second one is a server this would be your IP address so this would be you know you gotta give it a name or an IP address but I usually use an IP address just to be okay um, and my server is an IP address 192.168.0.78 which is an internal address and then you got your share right here so you want to pick what share name you want. So whatever share name folder you have in your server, um, it really doesn't matter. But when you click on it, it's going to take you straight to that folder. So I shared my DivX movies because I have over a few terabytes of DivX movies in my server that I like to watch. And you can absolutely watch that on your your Android here, your your Nook. And then your domain name would be your either your work group or if you don't have a domain name, you can leave that blank uh, directory. I left that blank as well, and then you got your username and password to your server. So let's go back and let's see what happened. Okay. So I'm just going to step back over here. Right there. So I'm going to click on the one I already set up right there. And as you can see, I got, right when I clicked on it, it took me right to my movies. So there's Mail Cop. Madagascar and of course there's the XVID movies now I I have tried uh, using different application videos to try to stream it um, but you I whatever I found that I just I, I don't have the ability to stream any of these movies so um, what I typically do is copy them so if I wanted to watch uh, let's see Madagascar I would just hold it hold it down here and then it gives you an option to edit so click on edit and choose copy
now it's copied into clipboard and what you want to do is click on home at the top now you're at the SD card as you can see at the top of the SD card and then I, I usually just put it into a directory called my files and then videos as you can see I already started copying Nacho Libre right there but uh, it, it does take a while to copy over Wi-Fi so you just have to be patient but uh, what you would do here is just click on edit again and choose paste and you'll see that it is actually copying you just got to be patient because it does take a while to copy but as you can see this is an effective way of watching movies um, and if you don't want to be patient I guess the other fast way would be to uh, take the SD card out and then put that into your server through uh, an SD card reader a micro SD card reader and then copy it over because yeah it's, it, it requires a lot of patience so as you can see it, it's just barely chugging I really wish I found a solution to stream but I tried different different programs out there and I haven't found a solution to stream um, I, you know I've tried as far as uh, video programs let me show you a few there that I have so Astro make sure to get that from the market store okay um, let me show you uh, I believe the video program I used was Rock Player. There's a few of them out there that play DivX, but you can see that uh, here is one of them. And I only have a little bit of the movie uh, software download. Okay, software decode. So as you can see, here's the movie playing. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, and it looks pretty cool on a 7 inch screen so you can watch a movie. Alright, this is the Barnes & Noble's Nook playing Divix movies, and I will talk to you soon.